Hey everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today I'm going to be making something from Kate's ABCs and it's this adorable little bunny. The bunny was cut out from page, or on page 34 and here I have it all cut out. I just have to glue on um, the flower onto here and then the flower onto here. And here is the cute little dragonfly that cuts out with that as well. Isn't that so cute? And then the other thing that I wanted to do is cut out a box and also a tag because I thought this would be really cute. This is for the Cricut Cards Challenge and um, it was really neat for the blog hop. We we're allowed to do anything that we wanted to do so I thought oh it would be kind of neat to do a little Easter bag. So let me show you what I've done here. I cut out the bag from page 40 and I did fit to page so this is a nine and a half inch bag when you do fit to page. And then the little tag that I've made, I'll show you that in just a second here, it's from page 48 and I cut the tag out at one and a half inches and I cut this out, this little layer, this was at 10 inches, I know that sounds really big, but it's this little dot that goes into here, so 10 inches is what fit in the center of this. And then this is the My Pink Stamper stamp that says enjoy, isn't that super cute? So let me show you the bag so you can kind of see what that looks like. So this is the bag that I've made and I folded it all together. I just haven't glued it yet, but I'm going to glue this together in just a second. And then um, it's really easy, just follow the score lines on it. And then this was perfect because I cut this out at three and a half inches and it fits perfectly onto here. And fortunately it worked well like that because I just guessed on it and I, I guessed right. So that's good that I guessed right on that. Let me show you also, I haven't put this together, but this is just, just going to show you a couple more boxes that I made. They make really cute boxes and this is with some heavier die cuts with a view paper. Isn't that adorable? I think it's so cute. So just wanted to show you those. I haven't taped those together either. But So I'm going to go ahead and tape this together and um, glue this on and then come right back. Okay, here's the box with um, these items glued onto here as well as a little enjoy I tied with a little of the baker's twine onto there. The neat thing too, this is two-sided paper so you can see the inside of it. Let me see if I can get the name of it. It's called, let's see... Blue J Dots from Reminisc. It's a really cute paper. I love it. I got that from my local scrapbooking store. So um, let me show you here. I'm going to take one of these glue dots. So now I'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on here. So just adding one of these little glue dots and kind of putting this little dragonfly over here. I think that's cute. And then I'm going to take two of these little mini gem flowers. And I got these at Michael's in the jewelry section. And they're just really uh, adorable. They don't have any glue on the back of them, but they were super cheap. They came in a container, and I think they were three, like three or three ninety nine for a bunch of them. And they're really cute little flowers, and I think they really add a lot to making your card stand out and sparkle. So there's that. Now, I'm thinking one last thing would make it really cute, and the one last thing I think I'm going to add some little rhinestones in the center here. So let me get those and come right back. Okay, here's the last finishing touch that I added some rhinestones to the center of the little dragonfly. So that's the little bag. Isn't that adorable? I think that's so sweet. So you can add some little candies or gift card or whatever you'd like. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.